if it's even working. That's my hair. Okay, Carrie. Yes. Okay, I'll ask you, how about, you want me to touch upon the sleeping story? Like, how you sleep, and maybe we could somehow... It's kind of sad. You want a sad story? Um, it's not really sad, because I think many people might understand it. Maybe they can help. I think, honestly, that when you hit a certain point in your life, and I think it's an age-related disorder. So this hasn't happened to you for your whole life? No, not okay. till 40. 40, this started at 40. Okay. Started at 40. I've always had anxiety, a lot of energy. So it kept me for sleep, because I think a lot. All my, all my, all my creative genius comes out in the middle of the night. So, when I'm asleep, I just get ideas pop in my head left and right, left and right, well, left and right. I have incredible ideas. Why is because that I never sleep. So then when I am ready to go execute those ideas, I'm so fatigued, it's really hard to execute them. But what I do is I try and get up and I get to work and then I immediately get out PowerPoint and I try and capture all my ideas as quick as I can. I just sent a really good, I sent a really good in, one into work this week and I told my boss and they, a vice president came back and said, this is awesome. And it was something that... I spent hours in my head putting it what? together. I spent months thinking about it, and I spent one hour and boom, put it on paper and executed. Okay, see, so that was a positive thing, and I understand not sleeping can kind of wind you into a not a good thing, mm -hmm. but there was something positive that came out of it. So I think you shared that with people. Absolutely positive Maybe things come out of it, it, but I'm, I live my life fatigued. <laughs> Why is that kind of kind of bittersweet but cute? Like, you know what I mean? Oh, I don't think it's so cute. <laughs> Thank you for this moment. We're going to now switch over to someone else. <laughs>